two opposite charged metal plates are in the vacuum. When you see that, plates, uniform field. A positively charged particle starts from rest and moves from one plate to the other, as shown. Which graph shows how the kinetic energy of the particle varies with the distance moved from the positive plate. So we start down here, x equals 0, and you slowly move up to some position x. How would we find kinetic energy against x? If you have a negative plate and positive plate, the particle is going up because there's an electric force pulling it up. So maybe if you start from rest, you are not moving. No KE. But as you move and accelerate because of the force. Ah, because got force, got acceleration. So here is the acceleration. Then you end here with some V. I, I don't know what that V is, but there is KE. So you have to be faster. That means the first graph is out. Why are you at a constant speed? Wrong. You should be getting faster. So you start at zero, end at some point faster. Hmm, start at zero, end at some point faster. Start at zero, end at some point faster. Oh, okay. Yeah. The problem is, which curve do we look at? Let's do the train of thought. Kinetic energy, our good old friend that appeared since every chapter, Ke, is half mv squared. If I can figure out how to relate somewhat either mass or v to x, which is distance traveled, I can make my second link. Huh. Okay, can you think of an equation where you have v square and then, or v, v square or v, something, something, and then relate to x? Bora. Something with an x, something, 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 x. Oh, v square, u square, 3, oh, 2 as. Hmm, let's try that down. Okay. V square equals to U square plus 2AS. Or if you want to apply in this situation, you start from rest, your U is 0. I don't need to write the U. And S here is X. Distance traveled from the lower plate. So I can also change this to X. So all we have left is V square is 2AX. Now we do the link. KE is proportional to V square. And v square is proportional to x. Hence, I can say, hence, kinetic energy at any point along this journey is proportional to x. Got square here or not? No. Got square root or not? No. So that means the best choice actually is d. Proportional relationship means a straight line, y equals to mx. This is the y equals to mx equation. So here we are saying Ke proportional to x. This one, if we choose this, we are saying Ke is proportional to x squared. Quadratic graph curve like this, curve up one. It's actually from the simple harmonic motion graph, kind of. But it's not correct in this case because we don't have x squared. This graph, if curve like this, uh, could possibly be a square root graph, Ke proportional to root x, which is not correct in this case. 